Hogan. Part two of my conversation with Tamara Parisio is about to begin in our first segment. She shared how she journaled and scripted how she wanted to show up in her divorce so she could stand in her power and in the moment and allow the emotions to be expressed in a safe way because she practiced it. This intrigues me to no end. I'm Maria Tomas Keegan and your host of Tips for the Transition. Tamara shares her story in an inspiring new book titled From Resilience to Brilliance and it's available on Amazon and I'm thrilled to be a part of getting these stories out into the world so other women know that they are not alone. We all struggle and we hear you. Thank you Tamara for helping us to see a new way of approaching life's most difficult moments um, and, and in the height of emotion, not only your own, but that of the, the people around you, yet uh, be able to help keep your wits about you and show up in integrity. Help us understand how dealing with your emotions by scripting your behavior helps you. The key thing in that whole process is stepping into the character of your most powerful self. And for me, my role models are iconic fashion people. They're dressed, they have good posture, they're in their power as women. So in stepping into that character and aligning with that, how would they manage this in the most tactful, diplomatic, and graceful way? That's how I wanted to show up. So when I scripted it, I scripted it from that perspective or that point of view. So I was in the scene in my power while I was scripting it. Then when something showed up, my soon to be ex was angry. Instead of shuddering in fear and reacting to the anger, I responded with my scripted scene so that I could be present, remain strong, still empathetic, but not get thrown off track onto some sort of argument that wasn't gonna be productive in the process. So in that moment, having written, kind of journaled what I thought might happen and how I would want to be in that moment, I was prepared for it. And I didn't let those bumps distract me. You know what I'm curious about, Tamara, as you say that, so you've scripted your own behavior um, you are very comfortable in how you want to show up, and you show up that way. How was that received? It's interesting because through my marriage, I had, as we do, it's, it's human nature. When we learn the secrets of each other, and the relationship isn't supportive, People use each other's secrets to attack the Achilles heel. So here's a person who knew my secrets. Here's a person who knew my shame, who knew how I wanted to show up and sometimes didn't, who knew my dreams, who knew my failures, who knew my successes, who knows everything that's important to me, or at least has a pretty good insight for all of that. So they're armed with these emotional triggers that they can play at any given time. So I took into consideration my own emotional triggers. And I said, if that gets put into play, how will I respond so that I don't get taken off track on this? And it was important because there was a couple of, there was a key moment that I knew was going to be put into play. And I also knew that it was not aligned with who I really was, but it was something I felt responsible for. So when that topic came up, I went like this. Like, are you kidding? <laughs> are you sure that really happened? Because now I'm onto it, you know? But when I stepped back, I could go deal with my still developing healing from that time in my life. The script helped me realize that it was gonna show up and how I was going to, in that moment, 
bring all of my power and my awareness to it so I wouldn't let it kick me down again. Right. So I get that, and I love that. And it's staying within, within your power and, and able to control your reaction. What was his reaction to that? Did he, did he expect it? How did he react? In that moment, it was surprise. He recognized that he no longer had the power with that element. So it had to go back to truth and let's do this as amicably as possible in the best interest of our child. So not only did you essentially script your own behavior, but you helped knowing all that you knew about, about him and his, the skeletons in his closet and all of that. Um, you actually help to script the outcome for him. Absolutely. Because what's interesting is that when you refuse to take the carrot of an interaction, the interaction cannot happen. So if someone, a simple little thing, if you're at the market and you cut off someone as you're trying to get into a parking place, whether you meant it or not, and they start honking their horn and go, I'm like, oh, sorry, my apologies, walk on. I mean, you can get, hey, wait, I didn't know anything. Ah, da, 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 da. You can get into that argument, and all it does is brings everybody into this. A simple, hey, I'm sorry, now it's up to you. You can accept my apology and go on better with your day, or you can continue to carry your anger with you. But that's not going to come into my play. Yeah. Interesting. You know that you're so right about that. Um, we, we can fuel it, right? Or we can douse it, the fire, right? Exactly. What, uh, it's our choice that is such an important um, element of what you're talking about is when we choose to uh, take responsibility for our behavior and not allow our power to be taken by someone else's behavior. And for you, this, I'm so, in, I've used this word before and I, I don't know a better one to use. I'm just so intrigued. I love what, you're, what you have done for yourself and for those around you by modeling uh, such a beautiful way of approaching um, tough situations in life. So tomorrow, mm. we're going to learn some of Tamara's best tips and, uh, and takeaways from this approach to life and maybe a little more about her story. Uh, so please stay tuned because you may learn how to step into the role of leading lady in your own life from some of Tamara's lessons. I'm Maria Tomas-Keegan. Till next time.